Uh, hi guys. Have you ever took a picture before? And that picture had a creepy backstory. I don't remember me taking a picture ever in my life that had a creepy backstory. Now you might be wondering, Ayo Wubsy, why are you asking us if we ever took a picture that had a creepy backstory? Well, I'm glad you asked that. The reason why I ask is because today we're reacting to 10, 10 creepy photos with disturbing backstories. This right. You can't but focus. Focus. This right here is a good one. Take creepy photos with the deserved disturbing backstory. Yeah, this is really going to be a good one. So without further ado, wait, 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 wait. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like. Because if you leave a like, you help me out. When you help me out, I want to help other people out. So if you leave a like, you're basically saving the entire world right now. Just by leaving a like. So make sure to leave a like. Anyways, without further ado, oh, come on, man, take creepy photos with the server backstories, man. I think I'm gonna be scared. Thank you for focusing, man. Photographs with chilling backstories. Well, this is a good one. Yeah, this one. Take a look at this photo. Okay. Just three goofy girls being silly for the camera and having a good time. Yeah, facts. That's all I see. Not quite. What? Do, what you mean? The girl on the right, uh -huh. is Skylar niece. All right, bet. She was senselessly killed by Sheila Eddy and Rachel Schoaf. What the? Man, real friends. How many of us? How many nana? Nana na na na. Trust issues. Man, what the? It, there's a similar story like this, the Slender Man story. You guys know that Slender Man story? There was three friends. One of them got stabbed, but thankfully she survived. Thankfully, she survived because her two other friends believed in Slender Man so much, they thought Slender Man told them to sacrifice their friend. Bro, what are they? Man, make sure you know Make sure you know the people in your circle. For real, for real. I, I don't care if you think they're a good person. They could be the most effed up person in the world. Trust me. Been there, done that. I'm not joking. Two other girls in this picture, whom she went to school with and considered her best friends. Damn, that's tough. In reality, Sheila and Rachel were warped, sadistic individuals. Yeah, facts! They had mutually decided that they just didn't like Skylar. What the- No other reason than that, had formulated a plot to take her life. What the- For months, they discussed how they'd do it, and what? even told some of their other classmates about their plan. What?! And what?! And no other classmate decided to warn her?! Bro, what?! Man, I feel bad for this girl! Everybody was against her! Hey, man, these haters crazy! They, of course, thought Sheila and Rachel were joking. Oh, they thought they were joking, okay. During those months of preparation, Man, they both continued to hang up. out with Skylar, pretending to be her closest friends. That's F. Just up. like they were doing in this image. Damn! July 6th, 2012. 2012. At 12.30 a.m., Skylar snuck out of her bedroom window to meet up with Sheila and Rachel. And she snuck out just to meet with them, bro. She was a real one, too. She snuck... Damn. They had coerced her into hanging out with them that night through texts and calls. Uh huh. At first, Skylar was hesitant, but the duo weren't going to take no for an answer. Bro, what the? Skylar got into the back of Sheila's four door sedan, and the three of them drove off to a spot where they usually relaxed at, I just bet. across the Pennsylvania border. Okay. There, all three of them got out the vehicle. That's uh -huh. when one of the perps told Skylar that they had forgotten their lighter in the car. Would she be a doll and go and fetch it for them? Bro, what the? Skylar turned around and headed back to the sedan. Bro, what the? That's when Sheila and Rachel counted to three. Three? Their predetermined signal. On three, they pulled out a pair of blades and rushed Skylar, tackling her to the ground and puncturing her more than 50 times. <laughs> Man, what? Stuff like this just makes you want to punch the crap out of the... Listen, in this situation, I don't care who the hell you are, what gender you I don't care! If you could have stabbed I don't I don't even want to say they were her best friends, bro. This is This is fake! Y'all fake! Man! They continued until in Rachel's own words, Skylar's neck stopped making gurgling sounds. What the Sheila and Rachel were pure evil, but they were far from evil geniuses. They tried to dig a hole in which to hide Skylar's remains, uh -huh. but didn't realize that the soil in the area was too hard and rocky to unearth. Uh -huh. They planned this thing for months on end and literally fell at the first hurdle. Uh -huh. Improvising, they instead covered Skylar with rocks and branches, then disposed of their clothes and went home. 
Bro, what the? The following day, Skylar was reported missing. Damn. Sheila shamelessly helped Skylar's family distribute missing person posters. And All right, see, see, that's, a that's how you know you're. Th that's how you know you're guilty. Have you ever lost your phone in gym class? This happened to in middle school to somebody before. Happened like five times a year, maybe ten times a year. Somebody loses their phone in the gym, and then the person who stole the phone is the one trying to help them, even though they stole it. And the people who think you killed their daughter, and you're gonna try to help them find their daughter, man, you effed up. How 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 effed up you gotta be in the head? Uh, made this post on Twitter, trying to cover her tracks. What the? It eventually became clear that investigators were hot on their heels. Yeah, facts! Hoping for a reduced sentence. On January 3rd, 2013, Rachel confessed to what she and Sheila had done that fateful night. Man, I just wanna punch She it. led detectives to where they had hidden Skylar. Bro, what is up with at you? At last, the niece family were given some modicum of closure. As for Sheila and Rachel, they were given 40 years and 30 years, respectively. Alright, that's good, that's They'll good. They'll both be eligible for parole in the not-so-distant future. Hey, that's good, that's good. Hey, always make sure. I don't care how... I don't, I don't care how good you think they are. I don't if, I don't care if they be donating to charity every single day. You never know their attentions. Always got... You always got to watch your back. Seriously. See how I just watched my back right there? That's what you guys got to be doing. Hey, what you want? What you want? You feel me? Or that one was pretty... That was pretty... This... Oh, what the hell is that? Damn, you scared the crap out of me, man! What the? What the? 79. Outside the Ghost Train attraction at Luna Park, what Sydney. The? the boy in the photo was Damien Godson. I bet. He, his parents, and his brother had spent the day at the theme park, I... enjoying many of the classic rides. I bet, but that don't look very enjoyable. With their last tickets, the family decided to ride the Ghost Train. The Ghost Train? Before they got on, the mother, Jenny Godson, took this photo of her son and who she assumed was a park actor. A park actor? Does that look like a park actor to you? If I ever saw that thing in a park, I would think that's a whole demon! That's a demon! I know a demon when I see one, and that's a demon! But what the? It's the ghost train after all. That don't look Jenny like Jenny then went either. to get some ice cream, while her husband and two sons went to enjoy the ride. I bet. When she returned, she noticed smoke billowing out from the ghost train. What the? The ride had been completely consumed by a fire. Huh? Thirty-five people were on the ride when the fire broke out. Bro, what the hell is Seven that? Seven of them never made it out, Se including Jenny's husband, John, her youngest son, Craig, huh? and of course, Damien. Damn! How the fire actually oh, started please. remains a mystery to this day. Some suspect it may have been the result. I think it was that dude that they took a picture with. What do you mean it's still a mystery? It's clear as day! It's that! It's the demon, and plus, it's called a ghost train. Don't you think a ghost train got demons up in it? Come on, man. One plus one equals three. I mean, what? One plus one equals two. Trust me, I'm not dumb. One plus one equals two. It's not rocket science, y'all. Fault of faulty wiring, while others suspect foul play. Yeah, facts. It is foul play. Ape Saffron, a notorious figure in the Australian underworld, well, was known to have started at least seven other fires in the local area for his own gain. Seven? It's speculated that he may have caused the blaze <laughs> to shut down. Boy, what the? Saffron had apparently- What the heck is that? What the? I will never ever- Bro, where the hell did my headphones just fall off my face? I will never ever in my entire life go on a ride that looks like that! You gotta be crazy! He tried to buy the park several years earlier, but his offer was turned down. Uh-huh. This may have been his way of getting revenge, or perhaps a way for him to purchase the park Bro, at a greatly reduced rate. That's a creepy park, I'm not gonna Still, lie. that's just speculation. What? Sometime later, when Jenny finally mustered the strength to look through the photo she had taken that fateful day, yeah, that... she came across the last picture that she had taken of Damien, yeah, that... standing alongside the horned figure. Yeah, that demon. She recalled how that masked man had approached the family without saying a word, Bro, then the... silently placed his hand on Damien's shoulder. But what the? At the time, she had just assumed he was an actor for the ghost train. An actor? As it turns out, he wasn't. Luna Parks didn't employ any costumed actors. Huh? Given how creepy this photo is, and the fact that it was taken just before the fire started, yeah, there are of course those who think this masked man was behind it all in some way. I think he was! Some even go as far as to say that he was some sort of demonic figure. And but that, that's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying! At least, at least people are on the same page with me! That's a 
That's a demon! That's a demon! That's a demon! Woman of sorts. I wouldn't go that far. That's a demon! But still, after learning about what happened to Damien, there's no denying this photo has an ominous vibe. Yeah, that's a demon! That's there have demon. been extensive efforts to identify this man in the photo. Uh-huh. All of those efforts have failed. Nobody knows who he is? How's that even possible? <laughs> this what Arab, the? colorized image from 1913, shows a woman condemned to death in Mongolia. What the? This type of punishment was known as immurement. Okay, I don't even think this is even L- Is this even good for- I'm gonna skip this. I'm literally seeing a picture of a dead body. How is this on YouTube? There's- If you guys want to watch the video, the original video will be down in the description, but just to describe it to you, there's a dead person covered in what it looks like cement, and their head is sticking out. What the? This next set of photos comes from Reddit user Whitney Renibi. Uh -huh. Whitney's family live in a relatively rural part of Oklahoma. Oh damn. Last year, her mother was going through pictures Believe it or not, I want to live in a rural area, but at the same time, I don't even know what rural means, but I'm pretty sure, isn't that where they got a bunch of houses next to each other? I don't even know. Is that the suburbs? Man, I don't even, I did not pay attention in school, okay? But I could not live in a place that's not city-like. I don't know why. It's just, that stuff like that is creepy to me, man. That's where when all the killer killers live. she came across three that stood out, huh? one was of her husband, sleeping. Okay. Why one you... was of her youngest daughter. Sleeping. Wait, somebody took this? And one was of herself. Sleeping. Somebody when it's... They'd all been taken on the same night at around three in the morning. What the... Nobody inside the house had taken any of the photos. And... Somebody snuck inside your house, took pictures of your entire family, sent them to you, and dipped. Boy, what the... That's, uh... That's pretty weird and strange and creepy. None of them had a history of sleepwalking. What the? I'm including all three pictures, said Whitney. But oh. the strangest one of them all yeah? is the pic of my mum. Okay, why? It appears as if whoever took the picture was kneeling down next to the bed, beside her, what the? almost by her face. That's good. If you play around with the saturation- Oh, I did it, goosebumps! Somebody, oh, that's, believe it or not, that's one of my biggest fears, someone stalking me. And just imagine you sleeping in some random pose, it was just, Nearly dad taking a picture of you. This can be seen in the background of one of the images. Hey bro, what the hell is that? In the post, Whitney goes on to add that her family has five dogs that all bark at the slightest noise. Okay. None of them made a peep that night. Oh damn. The thought of someone else, or maybe even something else, uh -huh. being in your home yeah, and facts. taking photos of you while you sleep yeah, facts. is ironically enough to keep anyone awake at night. Yeah, facts, you scared the shit out of me. Alright, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video because this video is so long, I don't got time to watch every story. Alright, those were three disturbing pictures. Even though I said ten, it was three because I don't have time to watch all ten and some of them had dead bodies. No, oh, excuse me. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video, man. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know by leaving a like. Also, comment down below. Out of those three videos, out of those three disturbing pictures we saw, which one was the most disturbing? I'm not gonna lie, all of them were disturbing. All of them. I'm going to have nightmares, especially from that last one. Just imagine you sleeping and some random person or random demon comes into your house and takes a picture of your entire family, sends the pictures to you, and dips. And then you have no clue what's going on, man. That's pretty creepy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Bro, I already said that. Anyways, wait, I already said that. Anyways, so the guys in the channel, if you haven't already, at least I love every single one of you guys, and I'll...